Yo, what's going on, Couch Lock Nation? In this video, Aaron and I are gonna debate our top five favorite dispensaries in the state of Florida. Let's get right into it. All right, quick disclaimer, people. This is based off of our personal favorites. This is not even all around uh, the best. This is really just based off of what we like, what we're going to on the daily, uh, and just our feelings and why. Uh, the second disclaimer is that we do not know each other's list at all. This is a complete surprise to us, so we are going to be reacting uh, to that as well. All right, you guys, so we're just gonna get right into it and list our number one. Are you ready? Do you have your list? I'm ready, yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, one, sunny Jungle side. Boys. Okay. okay. <laughs> All, right. I, All right. I feel like I expected that for you, right, for yeah, sure. For sure. Yeah. All right, do you want to go first? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Also, we each only get 45 seconds, so pull out a little timer right I here. I got you. Go. All right, so first things first, I'm going to have to say Sunny Side's availability. I'm a concentrate guy. I only have to drive 30 minutes to them, and I heard they're going to be opening up an even closer location soon. Secondly, amazing quality. I mean, like I said, I'm more into the concentrates. The flower is usually pretty consistent there too. And I absolutely love the concentrate game. So I'm a huge fan. Um, they have a bulk discount too, and they do have a lot of sales there. And I believe they have a pretty decent veterans discount of like 25% off. Honestly, that's it. That's all I got for Sunnyside, I think. All right, nice, nice, nice. See, like the thing about this is I think it's good. I don't think we're gonna argue really because I think a lot of our tops will be similar, Yeah. but our reasoning is just gonna be different. For no, sure. yeah, for sure, definitely. All right, for mine, I am 100% gonna ride the Jungle Boys hype. I think that the culture Jungle Boys is bringing is absolutely unbeatable along with the top tier meds. Uh, they're only getting started and they've already made a splash so far in this industry. And while they literally only have one store that's soft open so far, yeah, I'm just excited for them to expand their storefront and also their product line. And I think they're gonna be the top dispensary. I don't see anyone even on the remote horizon who's gonna challenge their quality. I don't think Cookies is going to. And yeah, that's why I think Jungle Boys is going to keep increasing into the number one dispensary in Florida. All right, what about their availability? What do you mean, right now? Like, cause they only got one store. I mean, that is. Like, you um, gotta drive an hour and a half to your No, I get that, though, you know? but I don't mind, so that's how good it is. Okay, so, like, all that's right, that's a great favorite. reason. No, that's a great even, reason. I, I like I that. A day trip out of he it. said, I don't even mind. There's God, a stone of pizza fire. in Gainesville, it's fast. Yeah, yes. respect, Jungle Boys number one. That's number one. All right, so for number two, we're going to get right into it. Ready? Three, two, one. Move. HT Cannabis. Uh, really? So I, I think feel like that's... what happened here is the reasonings that you chose Sunnyside are the reasonings that I chose Move. Okay. Probably, but go ahead. Um, so for HT Cannabis, uh, first thing I'm going to have to say is price point, phenomenal, amazing. I mean... $45 half gram live rosin carts that are on sale all the time, concentrates that are on sale all the time, and their flour isn't really that bad for its price point, to be completely honest with you. Um, amazing price points, like I said. They have really good discounts, especially for the first time patients. And the last thing I will say is, however, the fact they have great products, they do lack availability a little bit, so that's why they're my second choice, because they only have like two locations or something like that. Gotcha. Yeah. So. But um, I think it's cool that they offer edibles for like, I think it's like eight bucks for like 60 milligrams. So yeah, HT Cannabis number two. All right, I went with Move for this one. And honestly, this was probably my hardest one to pick just because Jungle Boys, in my opinion, blew everyone else out of the water. Uh, for my second one, I really wanted to pick a very well-rounded dispensary that I go to often and that also has a very developed, diverse product line. Um, so that's why I went with Move. I always have a great experience there. Um, they are very easy to access. They're almost in every town and city. Like they're getting very large. Um, and you know, I'm never really disappointed with my pickup either. Like, and you know, they also have so many medicinal products uh, that have a special place in my heart for my dad and stuff. So like, you know, Move it comes in. Two. I will know that <laughs> right. the thing I will say uh, that I meant to say is this one for me was definitely between Move and Sunnyside. Okay. So it was hard, but I just find myself personally going to Move more. Yeah. So yeah. they are a lot more available too. Mm -hmm. So all right, yeah. cool. All right, so for number three, let's do it. Three, two, one. Jungle HT Boys. Medical cannabis. That's so funny. We had the same. <laughs> we had the same. Did we have the same? No, we didn't have the same top three. We had similar top three, just different, <laughs> yeah. different orders. Yeah. All right, so for me, I the reason I chose Jungle Boys as number three is because, all right, ready, potent product. Everyone knows it. Anyone who tried it knows it was amazing. Um, they're number three for me, though, because like I said before, I'm just really into the concentrates and stuff like that, and they just don't offer those right this second. 
um, which they are soon, but they just don't have it right now. So I can't put them at my number one. Um, but the flour was amazing. Uh, it tastes great. And you know, Jungle Boys has an amazing culture. They genuinely seem like they actually care. And they're bringing a lot of, a lot of little ripples in the market that I think are gonna be huge in the long run. So that's why they're number three. Honestly, I went with HT Medical as my third because of the fact that, and this is gonna sound hypocritical, uh, but they do only have two locations so far. Um, they've been open for a little bit, and I know they went from the transfer to the botanist. Um, but let me get to the great parts. They always are running sales. They have so many first-time discounts. All of their products are solventless, even their edibles. And their edibles taste delicious. I don't know if you've tried them. Uh, I got to try their char chocolate like java, their chocolate caramel java something, and they were so good. They are like eight bucks. Um, the mm. rosin is fire. Yeah, Everything is really fire. good, and I'm so excited for them to expand as well and honestly see where they're going. Uh, I've been to both locations, both beautiful, super out west vibes. Yeah. All right, guys, for number four, three, two, one, Sunny move. Side. All right, so the reason I picked Move is because Move is highly available. They have like over 30 something stores, I think, maybe even more, 40 or something like that. Um, amazing all around concentrates most of the time. Sometimes the rosin's like a little bit drier and everything like that, but. About 80% of the time, I'm satisfied with all their products. And they have a lot of amazing medicinal value in their products, like their inhalers and just a lot of topical stuff. So because of their variety, their availability, and their quality, I think they're definitely my number four. I went with Sunnyside because I think it'd be wrong to mention them as my number two contender and them not be on the list at all. They're definitely up there in terms of my favorite dispensary. They have been since they were three boys to one plant to now Sunnyside. Um, their products are always fire. They've only expanded their product line and ability to, you know, distribute across the state since they've switched to Sunnyside, which has been a plus. More sales all the time, and honestly, yeah, they're a really good dispensary overall. I can't wait for them to keep growing, and hopefully the quality stays the same. And, you know, they're always putting out really unique fire strains of flour and rosin that you don't really see elsewhere. <laughs> this isn't much of a debate, is it, bro? I feel like we're yeah. This is not really a debate. Me, you're giving me reasons, and I'm like, well, there's there's gonna be some. There was only a few things I didn't agree with, but it's not even like, like it makes sense because like it's your person because you're like yeah. it's your personal preference too. So yeah. All right, this one I know you're not gonna agree with on, but all right, ready? Number five, three, two, one, the grow flowery. healthy. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right so for grow healthy you know um i have to give them my numbers five slot over the flowery which i did debate because of the fact that they have great products like 90 percent of the time their flower is good you know their mpx is i love it i love it a lot i don't think i've ever got a gram of mpx that i like did not like um they have a great veterans discount and they do this thing called fresh picks where like every day they have shit that's like 40 to 50% off and that's every day. So if you ever need a sale, like that's a go-to, it's every day of the week. So that's why I gave them my number five slot because for me, they're my favorite for getting good products for saving money. All right, I went with the flowery for my number five and it might be controversial, but I'm really excited for the partnerships that they're bringing to Florida, which at the end of the day, are helping innovate the market and advance it in the direction that I think a lot of people want to see it go. Uh, they have had a history of not executing things the best, but on the bright side, them being so small scale, in my opinion, is really allowing these California brands and out west brands that we want to see to make a home here. Like we know for a fact, 710 is in charge of the 710 portion of the grow and the flowery, and that that's you no know, two if ands or buts about it. So, you know, as long as they keep doing it like that and these other brands keep coming, I'm excited to see their expansion at the end yeah. of the day. I'd much rather be smoking some 710 from the Flowery or some Packwoods or some name hype brand here than a lot of these other dispensaries. I base my list off of, a, like we said, like my favorites. So like I kind of like the way I weighed things out was what would I be more excited to have? Like, what was I, at the end of the day, more excited for me to pick up and actually have, like, despite everything else? Yeah. So that's what factored into a lot of my decision, just so people know. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure to let us know what your top five is in the comments down below. And if you liked this episode, like, comment, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. And as always, stay couch locked. Wow, that was great, dude. High five. <laughs> <laughs>